All right, let's first talk about language predicates. So you may have heard in the past where people are visual learners or auditory learners. There's also kinesthetic, which means movement, actually moving. And then there's something called that most people don't know about. It's auditory digital. And let's, let me go through these because these are the way people think, the way people process information in their heads. And then also it's, it's how they communicate. So if you find that someone uses words like see, uh, like I see what you're saying, that is, that person is a visual communicator and most likely they are um, a, a, you can predict that they are a visual thinker as well. That's how they communicate. That's how they get information. It's how they store information. And so that if you're using, if you find that that person uses a lot of words like, um, I see what you're saying, or I can totally see that, that's visual. And then you would want to continue to say things like see. I'll give you a whole list of them. Auditory means, oh yeah, I hear what you're saying. That's auditory. And then kinesthetic is actually motion words. I'll give you some of those. And then uh, auditory digital is process thinking. Uh, it's also sequences and step-by-steps. That's how people think. Um, generally speaking, most men are predominantly visual thinkers and they're also visual communicators. Most women are auditory thinkers and, and auditory communicators. So think about how you prefer to learn. I know that I would much rather have an audible book than a, a Kindle book. Would you much rather have a Kindle book where you can see it when you read it versus audible where you're actually listening to it? I have, I have really hundreds of books in audible. I, I love audible. I eat that stuff up and actually almost every night, I will either uh, watch some uh, some interview stuff on um, not not necessarily interview stuff, but I will watch a lot of career things and persuasion things in um, YouTube. I love YouTube. I, I really and for the, those of you that you don't know, I've got a YouTube channel and it's got over two hundred different videos, mostly around interview coaching. There's there's quite a bit around how to search and also uh, resume writing. LinkedIn, all of that. You can find a ton of free information on my YouTube channel. Okay, so as a visual learner and communicator, oftentimes men who are visual learners are, they're bored by long verbal instructions. Keep that in mind. If you're doing an interview, let's say you're doing a case study interview, you wanna make sure that your slides are vibrant, colorful, but also very clear and doing most of the communicating for you. If you're, if you're interviewing with a mix of men and women, you, you do want to give more auditory information. In other words, you wanna talk more, but you need to watch people's body language to see if they are engaged, if they're nodding their head because they agree with what you're saying, or if they start checking their phone, oh, that's the that's the kiss of death right there. So checking their phone. So just make sure you've got their attention that they are looking you in the eye, maintaining eye contact, and that they're looking at the slide presentation that you're giving them. In other words, again, case study, for instance, you want to be able to have the PowerPoint up on a big screen, and that includes sharing that, sharing your your desktop. Uh, if someone's on a Zoom call or a Microsoft Teams call. So show them something and at the same time, give it to them ahead of time. If they're, if they're in person, then give it to them hard copy. And if they're not, then email it to them before the presentation. And that way they can look through that stuff as you're talking. They're actually going to be learning and memorizing things that are visual versus what you're telling them. So keep that in mind. Make sure that all of the important stuff is on the, the slide presentation, okay? All right, so auditory, they, they repeat things back that they hear very easily because they store it auditorily. Uh, for instance, some men don't understand how women can stay on the phone for two hours and really not talk about anything. You know, you might say, Dear, what were you talking about for two hours with your sister or with your mom? And you're like, nothing, nothing. And it's because they 
they communicate and they think auditorily. They store information auditorially. And they, they would much prefer to talk on the phone forever. Uh, and, and men, if you, if this sounds familiar, I know that most likely you're someone that when you get on the phone, you know what you're going to say. It's a five minute conversation and then it's done. So just know that people, women are mostly auditory learners. Not all of them, but most. Kinesthetic, of course, is they, they're walking through something. They're doing something. So you may have, uh, that's, that's why, for instance, I put together a client journey map for our clients so that they can see the project plan. They know what's going to happen each step of the way. If the branding program is eight different steps, those steps could take two weeks each, or they could take less than a week. Uh, so it's, but it's giving you a project plan. It's really giving you the outline of what's going to happen. So if people are kinesthetic learners, they are, it, I, I will actually show you some words and you'll see that. Um, so I'll, I'll get to that in just a moment. That's the next slide. But I do want to talk about auditory digital. Auditory digital is someone who is very process thinking, uh, process oriented, step by step oriented, and they want to know those steps. It's one of the reasons that I put together that client journey map. So if that's, if they want to know how the program works, for instance, then you know that they are auditory digital or that they really are a process thinker. They want to know the system. They want to know the steps. And, and if you're doing any kind of presentation in an interview, just make sure that you're covering these four and you can determine ahead of time sometimes what kind of thinker and communicator they are by looking at the words that they use in an email. So if one of them, let's say the hiring manager sends you a message, if he's using word or she's using words that are visually, but I'll go ahead and put those, I'll show those to you right now. And I know you probably can't see this very well, but I am going to give you these slides. Um, but in visual, it's see, look, view, appear, show, dawn, reveal, envision. So all of these words are visual words. The auditory is that I hear what you're saying, you know, I, I'm listening or, you know, listen to this, something like that. Anything, any kind of sounds, um, when you talk about harmonize or resonate, yeah, that really resonates with me. I say that all the time. I am an auditory learner. I'm an auditory communicator. Um, I'm all ears. Or does that ring a bell? When you know someone is an auditory communicator, use terms like this and they will feel like, man, this person communicates like I do. They don't really think of it that way, but they meant they'll go, wow, this guy or this gal is, is great to talk to. Very easy to talk to. I love the way that uh, the conversations just flow. Kinesthetic has words like feel, touch, grasp, get a hold of this, uh, slip through, catch on, tap into, make contact, throw out, uh, turn around, hard. Those are all soft. All, all of those are kinesthetic words. So if you find someone's a kinesthetic uh, communicator, communicate like that. You don't have to go overboard on this. Remember, with all of this information, subtlety is key. You have to be subtle in it. And then the auditory digital is really, I get the sense that, or, you know, it's been my experience that, or I, I completely understand what you're saying. Again, understand or experience, think, learn, process, decide, motivate, consider, change, or perceive. Those are all auditory digital, okay? And again, most men are visual communicators. Most women are auditory, but they have all four of these. You'd, you'd want to, to be able to um, shift into auditory communication when you hear someone say, does that ring a bell? Or do you hear what I'm saying? Something like that. 